The 800-meter run has been contested in every Olympiad since the Games were revived in Athens in 1896. It is the Olympic equivalent of the half mile. Three men have won the race twice. The 800 meters is a combination of speed, tactics, strength, and endurance. The runners travel twice around the 400 meter track to the finish line. The 800 meters, a race that has produced the most dramatic finishes in Olympic history. Amsterdam Games. Douglas Lowe of Great Britain made Olympic history when he became the first man to win the race twice. Lowe had previously won the 1924 Paris Olympic 800 meter gold medal. Now here in Los Angeles, Great Britain will try to continue their domination of this event. British runners had won the last three 800-meter gold medals. But early in the race, Phil Edwards of Canada leads. He stays in front throughout the race, followed by his teammate Alex Wilson and Great Britain's Tom Hansen. Coming off the final turn, the two Canadians are challenged by Tom Hansen of Great Britain on the outside. Hampson, Great Britain first, Alex Wilson, Canada second, Bill Edwards, Canada third. For the fourth successful Olympiad, a British runner had won the 800 meter gold medal. This is John Woodruff. He served in the United States Army during World War II and the Korean War and ended his military career with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Today he spends his time coaching young athletes and officiating at local track meets near his home in New Jersey. In 1936, John Woodruff was a member of the United States Olympic team. August 1st, 1936, the opening day ceremonies of the Berlin Olympic Games. athletes from 53 countries pass in review before Chancellor Adolf Hitler and the hierarchy of the Nazi regime. Among the 300
183 men and women athletes on the United States team are 10 black Americans. The Nazi press referred to them as America's black auxiliaries. One of the black athletes from the United States, 21-year-old John Woodruff, a freshman at the University of Pittsburgh. John Woodruff, the response of the German people was far different from that of the Nazi leaders and Nazi press. The impressions were very good because the people seemed to have been very enthusiastic. They were very cordial to all the athletes. They welcomed us, you know, uh, very enthusiastically. And a lot of people wondered, wondered about that at that particular time, but the German people really welcomed us very, very well. Now in the nine-man 800-meter final, Woodruff would be facing two of the finest half-milers in the world. Mario Lanzi of Italy, the European champion, and Phil Edwards of Canada, closest to the camera. This will be Edwards' third Olympic attempt in the 800 meters. In 1928, he finished fourth, and in 1932, he won the bronze medal. Phil Edwards immediately goes into the lead. Woodruff on the outside moves into third place. Into the backstretch, Woodruff continues on the outside into second place, running behind Phil Edwards. Kucharski of Poland moves alongside Edwards, and now Woodruff is trapped on the inside in fourth place. I won't have a chance of winning this race unless I get out of this box. The only way that I could get out of the box, I felt, was to slow down or stop. Woodruff comes to almost a complete halt. again dashes up on the outside into the lead. It is now Woodruff followed by Edwards and Kuharski. Edwards again takes over the lead. Woodruff second, Kuharski third. Mario Lanzi in the black shirt moves on the inside followed by Chuck Hornbustle of the United States. Into the final turn, it is Edwards, Woodruff, Lancy, and Kuharski. Lancy passes Edwards and goes after Woodruff. For the first time in 24 years, a United States runner has won the 800-meter Olympic gold medal, and Great Britain's string of four successive gold medals in this event has finally been broken.